Undertale by Toby Fox. This now begins part 5, with one of the most recognizable images in the community by Rock Bomber on Tumblr. The most disturbing version of Gaster appears before Geno Sands. And I will be real, I do not like this guy at all. You cannot trust him, telling Gino just to end it. It's better to not feel anything in the void along with Gaster, telling Gino he feels sorry for him. Gaster telling Gino that no one will remember him, just like how no one remembers Gaster. When you tell your last ally the truth, and he calls you a madman, Please tell me who is in a sadder predicament. Gaster wants Gino in the void so bad, he is trying to destroy the little bit of hope he has. This understandably makes Gino snap Sans back to the save screen. Gino says a phrase that he would only know if he was truly here in the save screen for a long time. He also says, that he has brought this same Sands from different times here and had this same conversation. Gino Sands explains that he just wants Sands' help to end all of this. Every new timeline, Gino would slightly change what he would tell Sands to see if that would help convince him to go with Gino's plan. Gino saying his plan and reasoning. The plan with Chara, ending the timeline forever. The best way to protect Papyrus is ending existence. Sans's reaction obviously says it all. Gino Sans needs Sans to just bring Chara to the save screen and nothing else. Sounds pretty simple. Gino Sans is basically begging Sans to go with this world ending plan. But before Sans can give a real answer, he wants to see Frisk and it looks like Gino Sands is okay with this request. A fierce argument ensues when Sands doesn't want to do Gino Sands' plan, because it ends all of existence. Gino does not want Frisk to have the power to reset any longer, but Sands says that he knows Frisk regrets their actions. Sands is able to talk Gino out of this fit of rage. They both reach an understanding of their goals and why they have them. San seemingly gives up on this, just wanting to forget everything. But Gino does not accept this answer, having Sans give up. He doesn't want to do this again. Gino begins to fizzle and bug out, causing Sans to lend out his hand to try and help Gino. But Gino grabs and yanks Sans' hand, saying that Sans needs to see what Gino has seen in order to agree with him. When you see every friend, every monster, live the same days over and over. When you see every situation repeat like a broken record. And when you see him die again and again. And you fall into despair. Then you'll finally see. It is our only way to stop this awful cycle. And you'll see for yourself why this timeline must end forever. Snapping lifetimes of memories into Sans's head to show Sans why Gino has his goal. Frisk yells out to Gino to stop all of this. Gino Sans claps back asking why Frisk cares about what's happening to Sans, knowing that Frisk has killed him so many times, having Sans relive their worst resets. Gino says that there is no way Sans will be on Frisk's side with anything after this. When Sans comes to, he asks if that's all he has. Sans states that showing him some bad timelines was not going to help him destroy everyone he loved. Sans gives Gino two choices. Gino starts over, or do it Sans's way. Gino Sans doesn't like the cards Sans is giving, so Gino Sans snaps Sans back into the world. Sans once again wakes up and says it was just a nightmare. 